Welcome everyone and thank you for tuning in. My name is Julie Strauss and I am the general manager for the pro developer and admin experiences across the Power Platform. I'm here in the Microsoft studio today. Uh, I am having long dark straight hair and I'm wearing a burgundy shirt. I am very delighted to be here and excited to share with you how we in Microsoft are investing in empowering all of you to accelerate your digital transformation, as well as your ability to very rapidly build line of business applications through fusion team development. We used to spend a lot of time talking about why low code is important, why companies need to embrace it. We have moved beyond that. Most companies get it. Without embracing low code, you are simply not able to keep up with this unprecedented demand for driving digital transformation. And you're not able to hire enough technical talent to meet the demand. We see that today. We see that in the statistics for companies embracing low code, embracing fusion teams which is really a sign that these cross-discipline teams come together to build apps and drive digital transformation. As IT leaders, your ability to bring people together, allowing every user to become a developer and creating no-cliff experiences by capitalizing on the core strength, combining different skill sets across the organization, is what will set you apart. This is what will allow you to become the hero of driving digital transformation and short-circuiting the global shortage of developers that will increase from 1.4 million today to 4 million in 2025, according to IDC. And yes, enterprises are already aggressively embracing this notion of fusion teams, which you can see here, where according to Gartner, 84% of organizations already operate through fusion teams as uh, this new model for digital delivery. We will talk much more about fusion teams and how we are designing our products to help cross-disciplinary team work better together through this session. But as you can see, it's real. The game is on. The big question now is, Picking the platform that will allow you to fully embrace low code as an integral part of your app development processes and fully embrace your ability to deliver a no cliff app experience, supporting all the relevant audiences of your Fusion team. This is where the Microsoft Power Platform comes in. And just in case we have new people in the audience today uh, that are new to Power Platform, we, let me just quickly introduce uh, the services which really are core to the conversation today. First, we have Power BI, which is a low-code way to analyze, explore, and visualize enterprise data. Then we have Power Apps, which is our low-code approach to building web and mobile applications. Power Automate is our low-code way to deliver workflow and robotic process automation. And then last but not least, we have Power Virtual Agents, which is our no-code approach to building chat box and conversational agents. However, the reason I am so excited about Fusion Teams is that we in Microsoft are so uniquely positioned to meet each type of developer where they are. Fusion teams are not just about Power Platform and embracing low code. It's about the Microsoft Cloud and the greater Microsoft developer ecosystem as well as the investment that we put into meeting each one of you, regardless of what type of developer you are, where you prefer to be, allowing you to work with the tool of your choice. As is hopefully evident, our goal is really to empower Fusion teams, allowing these three key audiences to come together. The professional developer who can extend the platform using code first, the citizen developer who can build apps without writing code, and finally, the IT professional who frankly tends to be a persona that can wear many hats. It can be the administrator, it can be the person sitting in the governance or the security team that proactively set up the foundation for the platform. But the IT professionals is also represented by the IT team managing the end-to-end -end process, the deployment, the application lifecycle. This is where many of you said, the people who has to manage the projects and the deployments and manage the processes, the people who need to make sure that while all these cool and exciting apps can be built on day one, they can also be managed seamlessly on day two. 
This is where the Power Platform is so magical. Not only do we support all these personas, but we allow each one of you to work in the tool of your choice, using the tools for the processes you're already familiar with. This is where Power Platform simply fits in. Now, what does each persona do here? Who does what and why? By definition, Fusion Teams is a combination of citizen developers and users in the business working with pro developers in a way that allow them to break up app development and separate skills to expedite delivery. In most organizations, that means that the IT professional or central IT has the opportunity to lean in not only in pulling together those teams of pro and citizen developers, but you can also have the opportunity to really drive the entire application delivery process. While Fusion teams come and go as new apps are being built, you, Mr. or Mrs. IT professional, will always play a key role in the longer lived development process. And by embracing Fusion Teams, you have the opportunity to make these business critical digital transformation projects participate in and be managed alongside any other software development process in your organization. In other words, you can embrace the velocity of digital transformation at no additional cost by simply setting up the guardrails by managing and deploying these Fusion Team projects alongside any other corporate software development project in your organization. Once you understand to pull these audiences together, you get a ton more value for very little extra effort. You can become the hero of low-code digital transformation. Now let's take a look at this in context of what it would look like to build a flagship app using this approach. Each project is different and there really are no rules in terms of process. So consider this one example as to how the Fusion team development process can be approached. In this case, the business has identified a need for an employee empowerment app that essentially is intended to allow any employee across the organization to ask for feedback, trigger approvals, exams, training, to track, for example, purchase orders and more. The app will be used by every employee in the company and it's needed now, in weeks, not months. And the app needs to be easy for users to discover. So here it goes. The request comes to the IT professionals managing the intake process for new apps. First, they identify requirements for the app and realize it would require a new service in Azure. They will call upon the Azure developers for that. Next, because some of the data sits in a legacy system that they have no appetite to rebuilding, they identify a professional developer to help build a new API that can be used to access the data hosted in the legacy system. Next, they go to the business and pull the leads managing the process who already use Power Platform. They become the citizen developers on the project and are pulled in to accelerate the project, not only because the UX now can be built in parallel, but also because the business has a much better feel for the app functionality that needs to be addressed. Last, they identify how the app and services will be managed and assign an IT professional to help manage the process of delivery and then ongoing maintenance. The pro developers start with their tool of choice, Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code, GitHub, Codespaces. Here they've chosen to use Visual Studio to build out the new services to be used in the flagship app. The first task is to build the connectivity to the data sitting in the legacy system. To get the data out of the legacy system, they have built an API as a function in Azure. They will publish the function as an API in Azure API Management. This will allow them to have a single catalog for ease of use, management, and discoverability of APIs across the entire organization. Once the API is managed in API Management, the pro developer can very easily push the API to Power Platform where it will be or to generating what we call a power connector, which show up as a first-class data source or a first-class object inside the power platform. To recap, this means that as a pro developer, you can build and publish an API 
all the way from Visual Studio through API management to Power Platform without ever leaving the tool of your choice. Now, of course, the pro developer could go to Power Platform and continue to build the app. But since we do have a Fusion team in place, they can simply hand over to a citizen developer on the project team, tag them on that connector that is ready to go. Naturally, developers can do much more than build out Azure services and create custom APIs to extend Power Apps experiences and modernize legacy systems. They can also build custom UX components and build code-first UX over Dataverse, leveraging all of the built-in logic into the platform. This is just one example of how we empower pro developers on the Power Platform. Before we switch hats to the team of citizen developers, let's take a look at some of the exciting announcements we have for the pro developers here at Ignite. Implementing feedback for many of you and other customers means that we have some great enhancements we are excited to announce uh, today. We have Visual Studio code extensions in GitHub Code Spaces. This integration allows you to manage your Power Platform solutions directly within code spaces. Naturally, this will be reducing the friction and allowing you and other developers to work within the tool of your choice. Experimental Git version control means that developers can co-author apps simultaneously, allowing for quicker app delivery by passing up the work. The new Power Platform Blade in Azure API Management means that developers building and exporting connectors to Power Platform can do so without ever leaving API Management. You never have to switch any tools. And now back to the Fusion teams and the app building process. While the pro developers were working on the Power Connector and services in Azure, the citizen developers have been busy building UX and Power Apps, working directly with their own uh, business stakeholders. The citizen developers have decided to split up the work and work together in the same app using commenting and collaboration experiences that's just like Office. Yes, that's correct. We now have uh, support for commenting in Power Apps, a feature that many citizen developers will be super excited about. Uh, one citizen developer in the team has decided to use components in a Power App for showing the data from uh, Azure services. He comments to another citizen developer on the project that it's done and they can plug in the Power Connector built by the professional developers as that is also ready to go. One of the citizen developers uh, gets stuck using the connector, so she tags a professional developer on the project in a comment to get help. She gets a reply and is unblocked and ready to go. Yet another citizen developer is adding logic to the app and decides to use PowerFX to build something uh, much more quickly. This function in PowerFX was even from the open source community. For easy discovery, the, they decide to put the app on the App Store for iOS and Android. With just a few clicks, she's done that and saved the app and then publishes. Now the app is ready for the entire organization to go and discover and use. This flow revealed some very exciting new capabilities. Let's take a look at some announcements for the Fusion team specifically. We're announcing early private preview of standalone mobile app delivery. This means that teams can now release native Power Apps mobile apps in Android and iOS for the very first time. You no longer need to deliver as part of the Power Apps player, which also means you have the full control of the icon and launch experiences, and you can fully customize according to your own branding needs. Code collaboration across Power Platform ensures that all developers can collaborate in an app with a familiar Office-like experience to get work done much faster. Open source tooling in PowerFX allows Fusion teams to use open source code to deliver apps more quickly. Let's see all of these capabilities in action with a demo. 
I'm very excited to announce Power Apps Mobile Apps. With Power Apps Mobile Apps, you no longer need the Power Apps Mobile Player to run Power Apps on a mobile device. Power Apps Mobile Apps enables developers to package their Canvas apps as standalone mobile apps to essentially meet the users where they are. For example, you trigger a mobile app uh, built for Android, which generates an uh, APK file. Uh, that includes the embedded copies of one or more of your Canvas apps, your branding assets, as well as the same great Power Apps mobile player platform that powers your mobile player. It's all in one package. Then when you ship it uh, to your users, uh, you can use your preferred channels. Distribution options include popular management tools such as Microsoft Endpoint Manager or similar third-party MDM solutions, uh, as well as enterprise uh, app stores like Microsoft App Center, Apple, VPP, or Managed Google App Play. As a bonus, built-in Intune support will enable enterprise governance for individual um, Power Apps mobile apps. A key feature of Power Apps mobile apps enables you to customize the app look and feel for seamless end-to-end -end branding uh, from the home screen icon uh, to in-app user experiences. Once a user signs into the branded app, control is passed to your embedded Canvas app to provide the UX and business logic, your mobile app experience. Uh, let me show you a quick demo. In this example, you can see me install an Android app from Microsoft App Center. This is the latest version of a mobile app for a Contoso Warehouse. I simply download it to my phone and use my corporate credentials to log in. This particular app enables me to track and manage inventory levels in my warehouse. Once I'm in the app, I have full functionality of the Canvas app, just like I would if I were running the app in the regular standard uh, Power Apps player. You can see I have several of these Power Apps mobile apps that I've downloaded already from the, from the App Store. Here's another app for Contoso Communications that enables me to do in-store inspections. Super cool. With the launch of Power Apps Mobile Apps, we empower developers to create custom branded corporate mobile apps, which can be natively distributed where users expect to find them. It's another great enhancement that we see a very high demand for, so I feel pretty confident that this will generate some excitement. The excitement doesn't stop there, however. Let's um, navigate to the Power Apps Maker experience and show you some of the new Maker features, which will enable much faster development times for Fusion teams. Uh, this, in this particular case, through some very compelling collaboration capabilities. Here you see a Power App uh, that the Fusion team is uh, working on. Let me open the Power Apps Modern App Designer. One of the great new features we're releasing for Power Apps is the ability for makers to leave comments as they develop an app. Obviously, particularly interesting when uh, developing an app as part of a Fusion team. The comment feature uh, is modeled after the comments that you are already familiar with from Office in apps like Microsoft Word and PowerPoint. The comments even allow you to add mention specific people so that they know a comment has been left for them and they need to go and take action. Here you can see uh, the comments tab in the top of the menu bar. I'll click on it. And you can see some existing comments that I and others on my team have left. I'll quickly leave a comment here and save it so that my uh, dev team knows to make this update. This new commenting feature will make the development process for apps so much more collaborative and ultimately easier, allowing makers to create these phenomenal apps in an even shorter amount of time. Earlier this year, we launched PowerFX, the low-code formula language used across Power Platform services. It's a low-code formula language that makers can work with directly in an Excel-like formula bar uh, or in Visual Studio code uh, text window. 
Parifax offers RAID logic capabilities, which makers uh, can use to build uh, sophisticated power apps. And by enabling open source collaboration of PowerFX via our uh, GitHub and developer communities, we are allowing developers to participate in the process by adding advanced logic as part of their fusion uh, development process. Um, and this, of course, further is enabling collaboration between PowerFX and uh, Power Apps developers. In this example, I'm using PowerFX to dynamically update the wrapping of my app page depending on the size of the page. You can see the PowerFX formula that is here at the top of the field. This logic expression wraps the content of this app so that the content always fits uh, to the page if the page size changes. As I adjust the screen size, I also adjust the number of phones I will see here on the page. PowerFX is the logic that allows my development team to create these very dynamic features for my Power App. With that, let's go back to the slides. Another very, very exciting announcement we are making today is the public preview of the new Power Apps Pay As You Go billing model. Personally, this is one of my favorite capabilities of this year. It's huge and really changes the game in terms of how biz apps can be acquired and it greatly simplifies the world for those of you who are not administrators. This is available in preview at Ignite today and as I said before, it is one of my favorite features. Power Apps Pay As You Go for Azure subscriptions is a new flexible way for teams to start building and deploying Power Apps with zero upfront investment. The Pay As You Go model essentially allows you to connect your Azure subscriptions directly to an environment in uh, the Power Platform and you don't have to think about licensing assignment. This is in particular interesting for pro developers who really don't want to spend the time figuring out how to get licensed users assigned to an app. Furthermore, you only have to pay for what you use. So you don't have to worry about licensing potential users up front. You simply only pay for the users who end up consuming the app. So now, tying that back to Fusion Teams, the pay-as-you-go model introduces a new level of flexibility in terms of getting access to the Power Platform and ensure that the apps built by Fusion Teams can be adopted without friction in licensing acquisition and assignment. Up till now, teams needed to figure out their Power Platform licensing needs in advance and work to acquire licenses before they could deploy their applications, costing them very valuable time. Now the process is greatly simplified and the Fusion teams can get new apps into the hands of users more quickly. Furthermore, with this model, because teams only pay for what they use, they have much more flexibility to experiment with low-code solutions with low risk and zero upfront investment. These new billing methods are in particular interesting when, for example, you have apps that need to be accessed uh, with very large user bases, say an HR app, but only used occasionally. Another example is when you're just getting started with uh, the premium capabilities and unsure how many licenses to procure in advance. You can then establish usage pattern uh, with pay as you go and then purchase licenses later on when you know what you will need. Finally, a team of developers who already have access to Azure subscriptions and don't want to go through the procurement process uh, is another great example uh, as to when the pay-as-you-go model works super well. You can simply uh, use your existing Azure subscription to pay for Power Apps. Let's see how T-Mobile is using it. T-Mobile bridges the gap between the business and development using the Power Platform and Fusion Team development. T-Mobile is delivering enterprise applications through Fusion Teams with Power Platform, Visual Studio Code, GitHub, and GitHub Actions. This enables simplified application lifecycle management and governance while delivering applications to their enterprise very quickly. 
By using Visual Studio Code with the Power Platform extension, they can work directly in uh, the tool of their choice with no cliffs to deliver components to the Fusion teams for reuse throughout their applications while also managing the continued integration, continued delivery directly in VS Code. T-Mobile is now also using Azure subscriptions and our new Power Apps pay-as-you-go model to scale their growth in a much more predictable manner, reducing the friction for the developers to build and distribute apps faster. Let's take a look at this new pay-as-you-go billing model in action. We'll start in Power Apps where I've created a premium app that leverages Dataverse. Typically, any user that I share this app with would need a Power Apps either per user or per app license, which I would need to purchase in advance. When I click on settings, I'm giving an option to set up pay-as-you-go and bill usage to an Azure subscription. This first step is to create uh, the billing policy, which will enable me to link the environment my app is in to an Azure subscription. I'll click Next. I am asked now to choose which subscription I would like to build to. The drop-down list is pre-populated with a list of subscriptions that I have access to in this tenant. I'll select the resource group within that subscription and then click on Next. That's it. Now the environment my app is in is linked to the Azure subscription and any usage of the Power Platform, Azure meters will be billed to that subscription. And I can share this app with any user in my organization and they'll be able to use that app without a dedicated Power Apps license. Now let's take a closer look at how this link works. View billing policy. By clicking on View Billing Policy, I'll be taken to the Power Platform Admin Center where I can view and edit the billing policy we just created. I'll edit the billing policy we just created. Let's add another environment to it uh, that we want to build to Azure. Select an environment and I'll click Add to Policy. You can see that we now have two environments linked to the policy. So I'll click Update Policy. The updated policy now appears alongside other policies we created in the tenant. Note that from the Power Platform Admin Center, admins can create new billing policies and link multiple environments to Azure at the same time. Now let's take a look at how billing policies uh, can be set up in the Azure portal. Let's look at the resource group we specified when we set up the billing policy. Now in the list of resources for that resource group, we can see that a resource of the same name as the billing policy. This is called Power Platform Account Resource. All usage of the Power Platform Azure meters will be billed to this resource and charges will show up under this resource in your Azure bill. The resource behaves like any other resource. You can add tags to it to keep it organized. You can also view its usage in Azure Cost Management. Azure Cost Management let you view a breakdown of charges associated with your meters and see how they are changing over time. Azure Cost Management also allows you to set budgets for each meter. These budgets can be used to trigger alerts uh, when you are approach a spending threshold that you have defined. They can also be used to trigger an action you want to take to manage your Azure spend. And that's it. That's pretty exciting. Going back to our end-to-end -end Fusion Team app effort, we have now built the app. We have walked you through the pro developer process and we have showcased collaboration between citizen developers and we have showed how very simple we have made it to acquire licenses and pay for the app usage.
Now it's time to manage the app. That means we'll come back to you, the IT professional. While the apps are being built, IT professionals on the team are hard at work building governance and security guardrails. Guardrails, for example, that determine which users can access which data sources, who can share apps, and who cannot. The connector that was built in Azure API Management could contain sensitive data that you now very easily can manage in the Power Platform Admin Center by defining fine-grained data loss prevention policies. You can even define how your custom connectors should be treated when they are created and what is the default access permissions across different environments. With dashboard features built right out of the box, IT professionals can see all the environments at a glance and can manage them with just a few clicks. Additionally, they can see consumption, users, and more while effortlessly managing the process. The Power Platform built tools and out-of-box integration with Azure DevOps and GitHub and GitHub Actions makes it a breeze for IT professionals to not only define the guardrails for how apps move through the dev test to prod process, but also to make sure that in addition to making it very easy to build an app on day one, it is just as easy to make sure that it is fully maintained and follow the same processes as any other development process on day two. Power Platform simply plugs into existing tools and your existing processes. No new learnings, no extra burden. Power Platform simply fits in. Now, on that note, we are at the end of our Fusion Team tour. I hope you found the session useful and that you are excited to go explore Fusion Team development using the Power Platform if you're not already doing that. Also, please check out uh, some of the resources to help you get started and be more productive. We have our new Power Apps developer plan to get you started. You can use that today. You can use our calculator to determine how low code and fusion team would work within your organization. And you can take our in-depth learning path for fusion team development. And finally, check out our blog with more details on everything we've talked about here today. Thank you for your time and enjoy the rest of Ignite.